guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is comfort and i am alpha's mom if it's your first time stopping by in our channel you are most welcome and if you're a returning subscriber welcome 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 so in today's video i'll be sharing seven etiquettes for visiting a newborn baby or a new mom and without wasting any time let's get straight into the video Number one thing is you have to make an appointment with the family. Um, you need to call before the time that you plan to visit and ask when it's appropriate, when it's okay to visit. This is important. Whether you guys are tight buddies or best of friends, you still need to call before visit. Don't show up unannounced when visiting a newborn. You need to give them time to plan, time to prepare to you know, entertain guests. And some parents really don't like to have visitors immediately after having their baby. They need to, you know, get into the sleep routine, you know, just readjust. So they don't really want to have visitors in the first um, few weeks of delivery. That's why you need to call before you visit. So you don't badge in on them unannounced. So after you've made an appointment with this family in question, you still need to, you know, call before a day before the visit to say, uh, yeah, we're coming tomorrow just to remind the mom because a lot of things are going through her mind at the time of delivery um, Postpartum is a whole lot of process to take in. There's a lot of um, pressure on her trying to readjust to the newborn So you still need to call before you come, you know, remind her that okay There's an appointment for tomorrow. Hope you are aware. Hope you're you know still okay to entertain guests and then when they approve, then you know that you are definitely meeting them tomorrow. It is very important. Number two, please don't go empty handed. When you're visiting a newborn baby, try to take presents along with you. Um, if you can, take a present for the entire family. You can, you can get just a fruit bowl, you can get um, food, homemade meal. It's going to do that family a lot of good because you know, Taking care of a newborn baby is a lot of stress and being sleep deprived and all that might not really give the family a lot of time to go cook something up for themselves. So if you can, you can go with um, already prepared meal, you can go with anything. It doesn't have to be something expensive. So make sure you get a gift for everyone. Some people gift the babies, gift and forget to give the mom it's also important to give to the mothers because i mean they went through the whole process of bringing this baby into existence so when you're buying something for the the baby remember to buy it for the um, mother and if the family has other kids try to remember them when shopping you can buy them with candy it could be chocolate it could be anything don't just come empty-handed when visiting a newborn it's really important number three is make sure you wash your hands with soap or you can use sanitizer for your hand this is very important not because you're not clean or maybe you're filled with germs and all that but because it's a newborn newborns are really really delicate so if you come to visit a newborn baby the parents of the baby would really appreciate it if you wash your hands or you sanitize your hands even before being asked a lot of mothers or fathers find it uncomfortable asking their visitors to go wash your hand because they just want to be polite they don't want to sound rude so they might not really go all out and say hey wash your hand before you touch my baby so do this family um save them the um stress of even accent as soon as you step into the house and you know you're visiting a newborn please wash your hands or sanitize your hands before attempting to carry the baby which brings me to my next point please ask before you hold the baby some visitors just walk straight in and you know try to carry the baby without being offered or without asking and some parents are really sensitive and they don't like that so please ask before you try to carry the baby and also very important do not kiss a newborn baby this is a very valid point it is very important some um, people do not know that kissing babies has been recently um, proven to be associated with several kind of diseases in babies so do not kiss a newborn baby 
if it, even if it's your close sibling or your friends your tight buddies do not go kissing people's baby parents generally do not like it when a visitor kisses their baby so this is the urge i know it can be really tempting because these babies are so adorable they are so cute you just want to pat them and give them a, a peck on their lip on their mouth um on their face please resist that urge try not to kiss and their immune system the baby's immune system is really not so strong at the initial stage so they are really prone to becoming sick or falling sick so try not to kiss the baby next thing to note when visiting a new parent or a newborn baby is try to help out to be honest the newborn stage is really crazy it's filled with a lot of um pressure on the mother on the father these people might not have had a um, two hour stretch of sleep for um the longest time or since they've had the baby so try to help out in any little way you can you can offer to take the dishes in and do not expect to be served you know do not have this expectation that ah, i'm a guest they should serve me these people are just you know going through a lot of pressure trying to adjust to the newborn baby and oh don't add to that pressure um and be entertained another time it doesn't necessarily have to be at that point Another important thing to note when visiting a new mom is um, try not to make silly comments or insensitive jokes about the baby's size. You know, for example, making jokes like, oh my god, this baby is too small or this baby is too big, such an old baby, doesn't even look like a baby. You know, some people do that and in their mind, they have nothing, you know, they don't have any intention of hurting the parent but you might not know how sensitive that mom is at that time you know some mothers go through a lot you know during the pregnancy journey and even the delivery and they wouldn't appreciate such comments so don't go making such comments like ah this baby is too, too, too small my baby was sm or make comparisons don't make comparisons when you visit a new mom even though you've probably had your own kids or you've seen other people's kids don't make any kind of comparison it is wrong on every ground and also don't ask questions like is it did you give birth naturally or unnaturally please i don't think that is a valid question to ask a new mom you know if they um are okay with sharing their birth story with you then that's fine but don't go asking questions like do you give birth to cs or do you give birth to vaginal i think it's it's too much it's too much information and some people are not comfortable with sharing especially depending on your relationship with the mom in question please don't go asking such questions when you visit um, a new mom and finally when you visit a new mom or a newborn baby please don't overstay try not to overstay i know sometimes you get carried away with conversations you're having with the family try not to overstay when you visit read the room always try to read the environment some mothers are really uncomfortable breastfeeding in front of their guests and they cannot leave you and walk into the room and stay without entertaining you so just try to read the environment and know when it's time to leave but the parents don't get uncomfortable some parents you know are still adjusting especially the mothers some of them are still adjusting to the pain of the stitches some uh, mothers are still recovering so they need all the space they can get and there are exceptions to this depending on your relationship with the family depending on how close you are you can um, stay longer if you're helping out or you're doing something maybe you're keeping the family company just always read the environment just so you don't overstay um, try not to give unsolicited advice you know a lot of advice are already being thrown down to this new parent and they can't consume every single advice so um try not to push down your own opinion on them allow them to learn a lot of parents are already being advised from different corners and um, let them figure things out themselves and then if they ask for your opinion please then give your advice so don't just go pushing down your own opinion and that's all i have for today's video 
thank you very much for watching to the end of this video i hope you learned something please feel free to add some more etiquette on the comment section so that we can all learn and keep this in mind when next we're visiting a newborn and please like this video share and please subscribe to this channel to do us a lot of good it to help me grow please support me by liking sharing and, and subscribing thank you very much and i'll see you in my next video bye